Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 15th of 2022. Well, it is titled colors of the moon. So what do we see here? Well, these are all images of our own moon. And we can note that by the fact that we see the same patterns in it. Now the moon always keeps one side facing Earth. So we always see the same side. And you may see some slight differences in the orientation depending on the exact positioning of the moon. But you notice that the patterns of the lighter and darker areas that we see are all exactly the same. What is different is that we see all different colors here associated with our moon. And those can be from various different reasons and are all atmospheric effects. So if we were outside of our atmosphere looking at the moon, it would just appear the same color all the time. However, our atmosphere can affect the color. And in fact, when the moon is higher in the sky, it'll tend to look more of a uh, brownish gray like some of the images we see maybe towards the upper left here. However, as it gets lower in the atmosphere, it will look more of a uh, yellowish to even an orange and red tinged as we see in the second uh, circle going from the outside in not the outer layer, but the second one in towards the bottom, we see a lot of red and orange there. And those are likely images of the moon that were very close to the horizon. And when light passes through a lot of atmosphere, the shorter wavelengths greens and blues are refracted out and scattered out. And all that's left is the red colors. So when you look at some of those, you can also see how the moon shape seems to be distorted in some of those. And again, that is distortion caused by the uh, Earth's atmosphere. Now some of the other colors we see some blue colors down towards the bottom which are looks appear to be very unusual. And those are relatively rare. But we see them as that those could be caused by the dust particles in the atmosphere. So when there are some larger dust particles, we can get that blue color. Now very interestingly, we get a purple color that is present there, which may be and not completely uh, understood why it would be like this, but it could be a combination of different effects working together to give a purple colored moon. Now the very last image off to the lower right, if you circle in from the inside and follow the spiral outward, the very last image is actually from a lunar eclipse. And that was the lunar eclipse of July of 2018. And in that case, the reddish color is from the moon passing into Earth's shadow. And the red is light that sneaks through Earth's atmosphere into Earth's shadow. Otherwise, during a lunar eclipse, the moon would completely disappear. Here we will get to see the moon illuminated. Now this is not the only time a lunar eclipse has occurred. They do occur uh, regularly. And in fact, there will be another lunar eclipse occurring today. So tonight, uh, from most uh, much of North and South America, we'll have a chance to see a lunar eclipse and watch the moon pass in to the Earth's shadow. And you'll see the moon start to disappear. And then when it is completely within Earth's shadow, it will turn a very deep red. So we will see some different colorings if you look at the full moon tonight and you happen to be located say in North or South America, especially the eastern portions of uh, the United States and Canada and pretty much all of South America will have a chance to view this lunar eclipse. So that was our picture of the day for May 15th of 2022. It was titled Colors of the Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be alien castle rocks. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.